Hi, Dave Soriano, chemistry professor at the University of Pittsburgh Bradford in Western Pennsylvania. A brief overview of methanol production syngas technology. In 2004, methanol global demand was about 32 million tons. To produce methanol, just about any hydrocarbon source can be used. We can think immediately of coal, petroleum, biomass. Uh, we can use that to make methanol from syngas. Syngas being essentially carbon monoxide and diatomic hydrogen. Now, most currently existing plants produce between 100 and 800,000 tons annually of methanol. In the past, most plants were close to large methanol consuming centers in the United States or Europe. With decreasing local reserves and increasing natural gas prices, countries such as Chile, Trinidad, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, etc. have been leading the uh, global production. 90% of syngas feedstock is natural gas. Annual production capacity peaked at 7.4 million tons in 1998. I'm getting these figures, incidentally, from George Ola's book, The Methanol, Beyond Oil and Gas, The Methanol Economy. Now, this 7.4 million tons in 1998 covers 70% of domestic requirements. 2005 saw the phase-out of the MTBE, the methyl T-butyl ether, um, gasoline oxygenate additive and the closing of aging plants uh, and only 20 25 percent of domestic demand for methanol um, saw the uh, decline there now plans were announced to close down all methanol North American production plants altogether mega methanol plants are becoming the norm now, Saudi Arabia and Qatar have plants producing in excess of 1 million tons annually. Methanix in Tobago, Trinidad started up a 1.7 million ton production plant recently. Chile, Saudi Arabia, Iran, Malaysia, etc. expect to build more of these mega plants shortly. It will be interesting to see what takes place in the United States with the development of uh, the uh, Marcellus Shell, the play in the northeastern United States, whether that natural gas will, um, a significant part of it will be converted into methanol via the syngas technology. Now, designs for plants producing in excess of 3.5 million tons are now offered by Cinetex, Lurgy, and Haldor Topsi, uh, Topso, excuse me, major methanol technology uh, companies firms uh, developing these mega plants. The economy of scale of the modern and efficient syngas plants is expected to cheapen the price of methanol. Methanol as an alternative fuel and petrochemical feedstock can now be considered. New methods for the direct oxidative conversion of natural gas to methanol without using the syngas process and hydrogenative conversion of CO2 are essential in the methanol economy. Here we see in this diagram methanol production capacity worldwide as recently as 2004. And we can see that um, uh, the range of uh, production um, in various parts of the world. Incidentally here, this is the North America with Mexico, Canada, and the United States. It would be interesting to see, as I mentioned, if this... Uh, uh, expanded production of methanol occurs with the natural gas um, Marcellus uh, play. Now here's the historical global demand for methanol. It's certainly not decli uh, declining and I personally would expect this to uh, to grow significantly in the next 15 to 20 years. Currently 600 million plus private cars and 200 million light heavy trucks exist worldwide. Together this represents over 80% of the energy consumed in the transportation field. Uh, the balance, of course, uh, we can uh, attribute that to uh, perhaps rail. 2002, worldwide transportation used up 
one and three quarter billion tons of oil and should be over three billion tons by 2030. Now methanol has about one half the energy that the same volume of gasoline has but if you were to ask a petroleum or chemical engineer would they be able to handle production of methanol? Would they be able to store it, transport it? Um, they're going to be much more comfortable with methanol than perhaps they would be with hydrogen. If we were to compare the methanol versus hydrogen economies, I, th I think that most, uh, most of the engineers that are in school right now or just out of school would be able to adapt quickly to methanol technology. It's uh, that much closer to natural gas and uh, petroleum in terms of its characteristics. Now, replacing only 10% of our current energy needs for transportation with methanol would require 11 times the current world production, and that's replacing only 10%. So fuel, t uh, fuel cell technology improvements will certainly be needed to make methanol use significant. Although conventional natural gas reserves are currently the preferred feedstock for syngas-produced methanol, unconventional gas uh, resources such as coal bed, methane, tight sand gas, and vast methane hydrate resources uh, should be kept in mind. Coal at present is the next best alternative to syngas-produced methanol. The United States has large coal reserves, but mining and air pollution controls is a problem. Pro I would imagine a problem that will not be circumvented ever. Considering climate change, coal produces more carbon dioxide than petroleum or natural gas. Biomass is cleaner, but it will be able to cover only a fraction of the energy needed. Uh, New and improved methanol technologies are surely needed and should be developed right now um, and are being developed at this time in the private sector and in, in uh, uh, the colleges and universities in the United States. Now, methanol from fossil fuels. Production via syngas. Syngas is a mixture, of, uh, ideally, of hydrogen, carbon monoxide, and there will be some CO2 there as well. Methanol is almost exclusively made from syngas with a heterogeneous catalyst. Three very important equations appear here. Carbon monoxide and two moles of diatomic hydrogen can equate to one mole of methanol. The standard enthalpy for that is exothermic, negative 21.7 at standard conditions, kilocal per mole. Carbon dioxide and three moles of hydrogen, equivalent to methanol in a mole of water, is also exothermic at 9.8 kilocal per mole given off from left to right. Now, the third one, carbon dioxide and diatomic hydrogen, equating to carbon monoxide and water, that is endothermic with a positive 11.9 kilocal per mole from left to right as written. Three very important equations to keep in mind with syngas. <coughs> And uh, once again, the first two reactions are exothermic and a decrease in volume occurs. Now, increasing pressure and decreasing temperature favors the production of methanol. Equation three is the endothermic reverse water gas shift reaction, acronym RWGSR. This reaction also produces carbon monoxide, which can react with one mole of diatomic hydrogen to produce methanol. Now, equation two is actually the sum of reactions in equations one and three. Each reaction is reversible and thus uh, the equilibrium point will be determined by temperature, pressure, and syngas composition. Syngas for methanol uh, can be done by reforming or partially oxidizing any carbon material. Coal, coke, natural gas, petroleum, heavy oils, and, and uh, asphalt, for example. The choice of raw materials. Now, see, the choice of raw materials, energy consumption, and environmental aspects will play very important roles in selected conditions. The composition of syngas is generally characterized by the stoichiometric number, which we will refer to as S. S should be equal or slightly above the value of 2. Above 2 uh, indicates hydrogen diatomic excess. Below 2, there is definitely a diatomic hydrogen deficiency in the process. And this is relative to the ideal stoichiometry, specifically for methanol production. Uh, 
So S uh, can be considered the moles of diatomic hydrogen minus the moles of carbon dioxide divided by the moles of carbon monoxide and the moles of carbon dioxide. It's a ratio, dimensionless ratio. Syn gas from coal has less than the optimum value of hydrogen to carbon content. Now, treatment of the gas before methanol synthesis or addition of diatomic hydrogen is needed to avoid undesirable byproducts. Reforming of feeds with a higher hydrogen to carbon ratio, for example, using propane, butane, or naphthas, leads to values around 2, which is ideal for methanol formation. That's it for this brief introduction and uh, a simple consideration of syngas technology, production of methanol from uh, methane, natural gas, other natural gas uh, components, and uh, the all-important dimensionless ratio, which we call S. Thank you.